Hi, I'm James Haywood and welcome to TurksLearnEnglish.com. Today I'm reading an article about the rising popularity of Turkish television dramas across the Arab world. I recommend this article for IELTS students and for intermediate language learners of English. As always, I'll read through the article slowly. I recommend you listen to the video as many times as you need to learn the new words in context. The article is called The Rise of Turkish Soap Power. As Turkish soap operas reach increasing numbers of viewers in the Arab world, the sight on TV screens of Muslims drinking alcohol or conducting adulterous relationships is becoming commonplace and the shows have presented a new image of relations between man and woman. At the start of the protests that recently swept Turkey, journalists picked out one man with a luxuriant beard among the youthful crowds in Istanbul's Taksim Square. Later, he met the Turkish Prime Minister as part of a group hoping to mediate between the government and demonstrators. That man is Halit Ergenç and he is internationally famous largely because of his role as a sultan, hence the beard, in a Turkish TV costume drama, Magnificent Century, Multishem Yüzyıl, that has been sold to dozens of countries. Set in the Ottoman world, it spins the yarn of Suleiman the Magnificent, the longest reigning sultan, and his love for a western woman in his harem, with whom he becomes obsessed and eventually marries. About to film its fourth season, it is one of the shows that earned Turkey $130 million in foreign sales last year, up from a mere $1 million in 2007. That it looks back 500 years to the era when Turkish sultans ruled much of the Balkans and the Middle East is perhaps appropriate, as it has been seen in 47 countries, mostly from this region. The exported shows rely heavily on a heady mix of slick production, storylines full of passion and intrigue, there was plenty of that in Suleiman's court, beautiful actors and actresses, and iconic Turkish locations. Take Forbidden Love, Ashk i Memnu. It is set in a mansion on the Bosphorus and tells the story of a forbidden passion between a handsome young man, Belul, and a beautiful young woman, Peter, who is married to his uncle. They live under the same roof. You know this is not going to turn out well. Belul is played by Kivanj Tatlatu, who has become a heartthrob in the region and, due to his light-coloured good looks, even being dubbed the Halal Brad Pitt. Like Magnificent Century, it has its fair dose of love scenes, which may, may seem tame to a Western audience, but are eye-catching by the standards of Arab countries. Some 85 million people in the Arab world were glued to the final episode of breakthrough show Gumush, Silver, in 2008, and the audience for Turkish dramas has grown year by year. It's partly because they fill a gap in the market. There's definitely a shortage of good scripts and high production values in Arab television, says Habib Bata, a Beirut-based media critic and author of the Beirut Report blog. It's one thing if there were a couple of popular Turkish series, but they are on every single major Arab channel. Previous imports had included soaps from Latin America, 
but these had less impact, Butter says. One reason for this is that they were dubbed into classical Arabic, while the Turkish dramas began in 2007 to be dubbed into a Syrian dialect. Okay, it's a long article. I'm going to stop there. Uh, it's an interesting one for Turks. So thanks for joining us today. Remember that these videos form part of our overall conversation class program. If you're interested in taking up a free lesson, come over to TurksLearnEnglish.com and you can sign up for a free trial conversation class here. Remember to follow us on Facebook and also on Twitter. And finally, why not subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can keep up to date. Thanks for joining us.